Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be doing a very simple benchmark on an mSATA and a regular SATA drive on an Intel NUC. So this is part of a video series I'm doing. I'm built up an Intel NUC and I have Windows on one drive and I have Ubuntu on the other. And in a previous video, I created a partition on the Ubuntu drive that will work under Windows or Ubuntu. If I want to benchmark these, I can use the Samsung Magician. I'll open this up. And if we click on Performance Benchmark down here, we can run a benchmark on both drives. So right now I have the Samsung 850 EVO selected. This is an outdated drive. They have the, the 860 EVO. I'll put a link in the description to the these drives I'm using. Uh, one is the 860 EVO mSATA, which is this drive. And then I'll put a link to the newer drive, the 860. And it's my affiliate link. And if you use that, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I will select the 500 gigabyte drive here and I'll go down to Performance Benchmark, and if we look at all drives, we've already run a benchmark for this, so let's run one just on the uh, 850 EVO. This also has FAT on it, while the other drive has NTFS. I don't know if that'll make a difference, but we'll run it. Okay, so the test is complete, and I'll hit all drives here so we can look at the results uh, right next to each other. So it looks like we have sequential on the MSATA is 559 and on the 850 is 543. So they're pretty close and then right is 521 versus 514. So those are also pretty close. And then we have the IOP, the random IOPS. We have 62,000 on the MSATA and 54,000 on the standard uh, SATA drive. And then right, we have 56,000 56, versus 50,000. So it's really comparable performance, I would say, between these two drives. I would go with whichever one fits your system or whichever one was cheaper. Um, and this is the older drive. I imagine the 860 might probably has about the same performance as the MSATA. I'm guessing they're probably nearly identical performance. But between the older Samsung and the newer Samsung, I wouldn't uh, buy one of the other for performance reasons. They're pretty much the same. So that is a quick comparison between these two drives, quick benchmark. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.